Hi, this is Digital Byte Computing. We're gonna go over the different parts of inside a PC computer. So, the first thing we're gonna look at is this big thing here. So you'll see that it's got a big fan that is attached to what's called a heat sink, right? Which you can see here, it's like a metal thing. And hence the name heat sink is what is going to grab the heat from your CPU that is sitting underneath there. So your computer will have a CPU or a central processing unit which is essentially the brains of the computer and you've got your heat sink and the fan on top that is going to keep it cool. We've then got the RAM or the memory, all right? So those two slots that you can see there, two slots of RAM here, uh, is the RAM or the memory of the computer and you'll see that there's another two slots that are empty. So this computer can be upgraded uh, to have some extra RAM installed, all right? Then we've got a few slots here. So these slots are used for adding additional cards to your computer. So if you've got, say, a, a graphics card or you want to add some extra USB ports or a wireless card or anything like that, you can install it into those ports there. Uh, this one would be, for example, for your uh, graphics card. Up at the top here, we've got a power supply. So you'll see on the side, you've got your standard power port there, okay? Uh, we've then got the hard drive. So the hard drive is where all your storage, all your data, everything is kept on your computer. That's connected on the back from there, all right? Uh, we've then got this device here, which is a CD-ROM drive, a DVD drive, okay? And behind that, we've got some extra cables coming up. So these cables are uh, SATA cables and the power as well. Now, where all this stuff is residing, so this actual board here, the green part, is what's called the motherboard. So all your devices will have to connect to your motherboard somehow. So in this case, you've got your power adapter that is connected via the power. So you can see here there's power coming out of that which will bring power to the motherboard and power to the individual devices. So your hard drive is gonna bring power to your CD-ROM, DVD drive as well, and everything else. Your RAM is installed into those RAM slots, your memory going into your motherboard, your CPU as well, and these are the devices which will connect to your motherboard as well. Now, over here, for example, you'll see that there's a fan so that fan will be mainly used to keep the hard drive cool. You've got a piece here. Yours may look different. That is like a like a sound uh, sort of port uh, that is connected to the motherboard as well. So it will create like system sounds, beeps and those sort of things and alerts. Uh, what else have we got? So if we look on the back, you've got all the ports, you know, like your your sound ports, your USB, your display, like your monitor, connectors, everything. And they are in turn, on the inside, they are soldered and connected to your motherboard as well. All right, so there's another heat sink here to keep certain things cool. All right, so that is the basics of the internal brains of your computer. So most computers will look similar to this. Uh, they may not be arranged in the same direction, you know, so this may be a little bit further over, your hard drive may be down here, for example. So the actual layout may be different, but that is the basics of the inside of a desktop computer.